Building a better Bay Area means ending rampant drug dealing and drug use in San Francisco's Tenderloin. More than six months ago, San Francisco police received a directive from the mayor to start making more drug related arrests, targeting both drug dealers and users. That's right. ABC 7 News reporter Liam Melendez is here with the latest numbers and the impact these arrests are having. So this is, as they say, a bit of a conundrum okay. because the number of arrests for both drug dealers and users doubled. Yet this year, San Francisco will have more accidental overdoses than any other year. So here's the explanation we received from both health officials and police. ABC 7 News was invited to follow plainclothes officers during one of many drug surveillance operations in the two neighborhoods where drug dealing is rampant. All right, not yet, but you guys just come eastbound mission. We have people who are observing the actions of this suspect. And uh, we're going to try to move in and, and make an arrest at this time. This last year, 2023, police arrested 960 suspected dealers in the Tenderloin neighborhood alone, compared to 566 the previous year, 2022. We were there for one of them. Let me ask you what went down here. So we're doing a, a narcotics uh, surveillance operation where we set up one officer watching the area. They observe uh, what they believe to be a suspected hand-to-hand -hand narcotics transaction. Then they radio us in the arrest team. They give us a description, a detailed physical description of the person. They tell us where they're at. As the arrest team, we move in and we place the person under arrest. And then we wait for the officer that saw the observation. We wait for them to come over here and then they conduct a search. Because he has not been convicted, we are not showing his face. Police find several stashes in his backpack of what they believe is crack cocaine. Most officers here are certified Spanish speakers. Where is he from? Uh, uh, Jared, can we see? So he has a, a Honduran passport. So he's from Honduras. Yeah. A lot of people from dr dealing yes. drugs from Honduras? Very, very many, yeah. Drug sales, property crime. One of the arguments made by the former district attorney was that many dealers were immigrants from Honduras who had been illegally trafficked to the United States. In court, many still use that as part of their defense, but that's not what officers say they hear on the streets. Do many people say that they're here because they fear for the lives of their families in Honduras? They've been threatened. From from my experience, we're not really ever really told that. They're here to send money back home, not because they're uh, victims of human trafficking or anything like that. The suspected dealer gave police a different name from that on his passport, which he happens to have with him. He had been arrested before using a false name. Police told us half of the suspects arrested for the sale of drugs were either on probation, pre-trial release, or had active stay-away orders. This despite requests made in court by the current DA to keep them in custody. We're explaining that many of them have been arrested not once, not twice, even three times for, for dealing fentanyl in our city, and these judges are not taking it seriously. They're allowing the courthouse to be a revolving door. The number of drug users in the Tenderloin arrested in 2023 nearly doubled from the previous year. So how is it that the city will have the deadliest year on record for accidental drug overdoses with 752 through November 2023? Health department officials have tried to make sense of this disparity by explaining that arresting someone and forcing them into treatment often backfires. In fact, their risk of overdose sometimes sort of paradoxically goes up. We've uh, said you can't use, you may not, and, and created a situation where they're not using opioids. Their tolerance goes down, and a relapse can be deadly. It just shows how much of a, of a battle this is with uh, trying to keep people alive, and people are still going to continue to use so we have an update for you on the person arrested uh, that you saw there on December 21st. He was charged with possession to sell drugs and released five days later while awaiting trial, even though he had been arrested before for selling drugs. And it's not uncommon for a county, a district attorney from a different city or what have you, to... Um, uh, to have somebody charge and release them, okay. you know, the, the sure. judges. Right. But here in San Francisco, two and three or four times. Mm.
over released. Yes, yeah, and yeah. that is what the district attorney that here in San door. Francisco argues constantly. Okay. And that has to be frustrating for the people on the streets. Yes, right? for sure. Release, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Sure.